Ever heard about that classic movie from 1951? Well, let me tell you, it's got some fascinating history behind it. There are some surprising facts and stories about it that you might find interesting. One particular scene from it really sticks with you even after the movie ends. It leaves a strong impression. Before we get into it, have you got any memories or experiences connected to this film? Share them with us below. We'd love to hear your tales. Now, let's dive into the world of this classic movie. Get ready for some funny, shocking, and sad facts about it. You won't want to miss out on what's coming your way. In the world of classic movies, there's one that stands out for its timeless story about love, ambition, and tough choices. It's a tale that still feels fresh today, even though it was made years ago. This movie dives into the struggles of a young man named George, who's torn between what he wants and what he should do. Along the way, he falls for two different women, each representing different sides of life. Set against a backdrop of social differences, this story follows George as he tries to find his way in a world where money and status mean a lot. When he meets Alice, everything gets complicated. They start a passionate relationship, but George's heart is drawn to Angela, who's like a vision of beauty and wealth. As George wrestles with his feelings, the movie explores big ideas like moving up in society, longing, and the fallout of choices. The actors, especially Winters and Clift, bring real depth to their characters, making you feel every emotion they go through. Director George Stevens took inspiration from a book called An American Tragedy to create this moving story about human nature and chasing after dreams. With its rich story and powerful themes, this movie keeps audiences hooked, no matter when they watch it. Even though time has passed, this film still has a strong impact, drawing people in with its story of love, ambition, and the cost of success. A Place in the Sun, released in 1951, features Hank Mann, who later became a makeup artist for Warner Brothers before running a malt shop in Sierra Mater. He then spent his remaining years as a resident apartment manager in Los Feliz with his wife, known in France as Bill Bakke or Bill Bacay. Elizabeth Taylor, a prominent figure in the film, appeared on Larry King Live in 1985 to dispute rumors about her health. She refuted claims of being diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease and being close to death. In the movie A Place in the Sun, some people did really important stuff in different areas. Casey Rogers, for example, started an association called Powder Puffs Unlimited Riders and Racers, which helped women get into motorsports. Later on, she also played a part in getting women into the Super Bowl of motocross. Paul Fries was known for his great voice work. He started out in radio, where he could imitate famous people like Orson Welles. He did a lot of voices for cartoons, bringing characters like Fox and Ludwig von Drake to life. Anne Revere was famous for her acting. She won an Oscar, and her Tony Award was sold for a lot of money. All these people did things that still matter today in entertainment and sports. They made a big impact, and their stories continue to be remembered, even after A Place in the Sun. In the world of acting, sometimes the decisions we make can shape our entire career. Montgomery Clift, guided by his trusted friend Libby Hellman, made a big choice that changed his path. He turned down roles in two very famous movies, which had a big effect on where his acting journey went next. Instead of taking those roles, Clift put his trust in his drama coach, Mira Rostova, for advice and support. One of Clift's most memorable performances was in a movie called A Place in the Sun. He poured everything into his role, pushing himself to the limit. After some scenes, he was so drained that he was visibly exhausted and covered in sweat. Cliff's dedication to his craft and his ability to bring out deep emotions in his characters made him stand out in the film world. The band R.E.M. honored Cliff's talent with a song called Monty Got a Raw Deal. The song captured the struggles and successes Cliff faced in Hollywood. Looking back, Cliff's career was shaped by the choices he made, each one adding to his mystique. His talent left a strong impression on both audiences and fellow actors. Montgomery Cliff's memory lives on reminding us of the challenges artists face in the movie industry. In the early 70s, plans were underway for a film adaptation of a popular Broadway play from 1971, where she was set to take on four distinct roles. These characters included three sisters and their elderly, irritable Bronx Irish mother. Unfortunately, the project never came to fruition. Around the same time, the initial host of Unsolved Mysteries was Raymond Burr, who only hosted the first special in January 1987. Following a brief stint by Carl Malden, both hosts demanded salaries deemed excessive by producer John Cosgrove. By the time the show became a regular series in 1988, Robert Stack had been hired as the permanent host at a more reasonable pay. Notably, she received the prestigious John F. Kennedy Center honors in Twented. 
a testament to her contributions to the entertainment industry. Following its release in 1951, the film faced various challenges in the entertainment industry. Keith Purcell, despite his partnership with CBS executive James T. Aubrey, struggled as a producer, with shows like The Baileys of Balboa, The Carl Williams Show, and The Reporter failing to garner significant ratings. Meanwhile, Raymond Burr's official biography presented a fabricated narrative of his personal life, obscuring his homosexuality behind fictional marriages and a child. Notably, Brussel is the grandfather of Haley Sanchez, born in 1998. Such complexities behind the scenes offer intriguing insights into the realities of Hollywood during that era. In the portrayal of the Eastman family, hints of inspiration from Carl Jansen, a prominent figure in women's swimwear, emerge. Elizabeth Taylor, who played a significant role in the film, was the mother of Christopher Edward Wilding, and Michael Wilding Jr. Montgomery Clift, another central figure, had a falling out with Frank Sinatra after Sinatra disapproved of Clift's advances towards another male guest. Despite these off-screen incidents, the film stands as a notable piece of cinematic history. Raymond Burr, known for his role in A Place in the Sun, earned recognition with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6656 Hollywood BLVD. Elizabeth Taylor, a prominent figure in the film, possessed a stunning collection of jewelry, including the 33-carat Krupp diamond, the Duchess of Windsor diamond brooch, the Grand Duchess of Russia emeralds, the Lapragina pearl, and the renowned pear-shaped 69-carat Burton Cartier diamond given to her in 1969 and later renamed the Burton Taylor diamond. In an interesting twist, despite playing the mother on Giant, Elizabeth Taylor was merely two years older than Fran Bennett, four years senior to Dennis Hopper, and only nine months younger than Carol Baker. These unique aspects shed light on the notable individuals associated with the 1951 movie, adding depth to their profiles and intertwining their stories within the cinematic narrative. Discovered by a talent scout, Casey Rogers swiftly entered the limelight after auditioning at Paramount. Within a week, she secured a leading role in a movie. Elizabeth Taylor, known for her acting prowess, holds the esteemed title of godmother to Prince Michael Jackson. Keith Brissell, although recognized for his role in the Eddie Cantor story, faced criticism for his portrayal, which was deemed unconvincing by critics. Such feedback was attributed to the film's failure to match the success of the Jolson story. Critics felt Brissell's performance bordered on caricature, impacting the overall reception of the movie. 